Well, Washington is being vilified in Egypt by both sides of the debate. This article from the Chicago Tribune has a great photo in it. It actually uh, shows people holding up a sign that says, Obama is supporting terrorism. It says, no matter which side you talk to in Egypt, where people have been polarized by a violent political cross crisis, the U.S. president is cast as the villain. Somebody should tell that to Rachel Maddow. Maybe she should interview some people in Egypt. Because she doesn't believe that our government is behind terrorism. She doesn't believe that we fund terrorists like al-Qaeda. And in reality, we're probably funding both sides. We fund not only the terrorist rebels, but we also fund the dictators and the military coup. And uh, that's being done illegally. It's actually blowback. This is what Ron Paul talks about so much, blowback, creating animosity on both sides of the issue. We have to get involved in every conflict, typically supporting both sides, both criminals, because that makes the most money for the military-industrial complex. But it's not just that we get blowback. It's not just that we make enemies of people, but it's actually something that is being done by design, as I said, so that the military-industrial complex can sell the most amount of weapons. Now, the journalistic practices of the Washington Post and Walter Pincus are being called into question by an article on The Guardian written by Glenn Greenwald. Now, this is pretty amazing because in this article, uh, and, and what's interesting about this, it just shows just how corrupt the mainstream media is. It shows how they manipulate public opinion because the person who wrote these opinion pieces attacking Glenn Greenwald in The Washington Post is actually Walter Pincus. Who is Walter Pincus? Well, Walter Pincus is the national security reporter for the Washington Post. That's his specialty. And, of course, he has a lot of experience in that. This is a man who was a uh, in COINTEL in the Army. He also wrote uh, How I Traveled Abroad on CIA Subsidy, where he recounts how he spied on American students abroad for the U.S. government. And then he went to work for the Washington Post, mainstream media, promoting the government's narrative. And now he is attacking Glenn Greenwald. We've seen a lot of attacks on Glenn Greenwald in the press as well as in the government calling for him to be arrested, accusing him of, of uh, treason. And in this particular case, I'll let Greenwald, uh, I'll quote from his article here, he says, the article concocted a frenzied and inane conspiracy theory. There we go, conspiracy theory that it was WikiLeaks and Julian Assange working in secret with myself and Laura Poitras who masterminded the Snowden leaks ahead of time and directed Snowden's behavior and then Assange. Rather than have WikiLeaks publish the documents itself, they generously directed them to The Guardian. To peddle this tale, Pincus, in lieu of any evidence, spouted all sorts of accusatory innuendo masquerading as questions. He said things like, did Edward Snowden decide on his own to seek out journalists and then a job at Booz Allen Hamilton's Hawaii facility? Did Assange and WikiLeaks personnel help or direct Snowden to those journalists? He's pointing out that the technique that he's using here <clears throat> is to basically raise questions without any supporting evidence. Now, InfoWars is accused all the time of being conspiracy theorists. And that word was, that phrase was first used to attack people who questioned the government's official story about the JFK assassination. You know, if you didn't believe the magic bullet or if you saw videos that uh, indicated that he was being shot from the front, you know, you were just a conspiracy theorist. Well, when we talk about things we have to, that, are, that the mainstream media is not talking about, we know we're going to be ridiculed. So we carefully document what we report, unlike the tactics that the Washington Post uses. And what he says is that and part of the debate that is out right now as to what is journalism. You know, should journalists be licensed by the government? Should only journalists have freedom of speech? He said, they jump into this debate and they give us an example. They answer it this way. They say, what is journalism? Glenn Greenwald said, the Washington Post says, well, you fill up articles on topics you don't know the first thing about uh, with nothing but idle speculation and rank innuendo and evidence-free accusations all under the guise of, quote, just asking questions. And then he finishes up the last quote I'll read from him. He says, but shoddy journalism from the Washington Post is far too common to be worth noting. What was far worse was that Pincus's wild conspiracy theory, theorizing was accomplished only by asserting blatant, easily demonstrated falsehood. So he really takes that apart. It's a, it's a great article. And they took a very long time, very reluctantly, uh, doing retractions of the false statements that were put out there, as well as the slander and the innuendo against Glenn Greenwald. 
Uh, now, take a look at this next video. This is another example of what DARPA is working on. First, it starts out with uh, the, the uh, uh, Pet Man project, and now we've got this uh, robot, Atlas, that stands six foot two, is 330 pounds, possibly the most advanced humanoid robot ever built. And this is part of a contest that is being sponsored by DARPA. And if you want to know what they are going to use these robots for, what the military industrial complex and the police industrial complex is going to use these robots for, just take a look at the trailer for Elysium. This is what it's going to look like. Police robots questioning people and brutalizing them in ways that uh, we're seeing our human, robot, our human robots now in the police departments doing, but it'll be much easier to do that with real robots than it is with police, you know, because uh, the real robots aren't going to develop a conscience. And maybe the police that we've got won't develop it either. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.